Hey everybody, time for another episode of Out of the Wilderness with Keith and Perry. And as usual, we have Keith here, I'm Perry. <clears throat> still, still, sorry we haven't been around for a little while as things have been, work schedules have changed and mm -hmm. getting busy and... <clears throat> And plus inflation, you know, the price of gas, and there's a lot oh, of variables. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, fuel in our area, at least where I'm at, I is up five bucks and over. Well, at least we're places. not like California. It's like six and seven six. bucks, you know, so. Right, yeah. Hopefully, yeah. hopefully it won't get that high, but um, I'm no expert on that, but it wouldn't no. surprise me at all if it got here in Washington State. If it, well, if they want to continue with this green boondoggle, yeah. Yeah. Well, and we have, Washington State has, I think it's the third highest gas tax in the country. Too. Yes, it's 86 cents. Yeah, yeah. And 86. which is... No, it's a dollar 86 cents. It, something yeah, like that. I, I don't remember. It's huge. <clears throat> but it, 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 it's huge. It's criminal. And there's so, not a road in town that's been fixed. There's not a um, road in town that does not have a pothole in it. And that's a problem. Yeah. You know, but anyways, back to the subject yeah, at so, hand. Yeah. We're just going to kind of wing it today <clears throat> because, well, um, we didn't prepare. Um, but mm -hmm. still know that the Lord is first and foremost in our hearts and minds. Absolutely. And we hope that he's in yours too. Yep. Um, those of it, those I'm sure those that watch us on a regular basis, um, your hearts are in the right place. Mm -hmm. uh, and as always, it's a pleasure, uh, it's an honor, actually, <clears throat> to have you take the time to spend 15, 20, 30 minutes with us mm -hmm. um, on, a reg on a regular basis. <clears throat> uh, we've said this Do you before, keep watching? We're in, we'll keep recording. We'll keep recording, but we're, uh, we, we're starting our third year now. Yeah. Yeah, Fe uh, February, we passed the two-year mark. Yeah. And, uh, been two wonderful years. Man, that, that boy has it gone clunk, click, poof. Just, yeah, it's like uh, once you reach a certain age in life, it's like God takes your your master calendar for your life, and instead of flipping one page at a time, he's yeah, you know. And I, the way they do make make characters uh, move and <clears throat> yeah. move around one little step at a time and just buzz you right through. Right. That I remember when I was young, I wanted to be older. Now that I'm older, I want to be young again. Yeah. So it's, the grass is never greener. Nah. Never. It's all, it's all mental attitude, you yeah. know, how, how you view that. Right. Uh, so, but spring has sprung. Yeah. Um, we're not sitting in a particular area where you can see them, but the cherry blossoms here are mm. uh, out around, Yeah. Um, out around, where I live personally, um, and they're they're pretty as long as they don't get wet and stick to a car, and then they're real <laughs> right. real pain. One well, and, and our front yard up there in Anacortes is full of all wildflowers and and herbs, you know, stuff mm -hmm. you can eat, and everything's blossoming. So we know that it's that time of year. Yeah. It's still a little chilly, um, yeah. but it is definitely warmer than it was last month. Well, yesterday here in Marysville. It was it was really nice. It got up to I think sixty degrees, sixty five wow. degrees. That's impressive. Something like that. They said on the radio it was really, really nice. Uh, and then it they predicted rain for today, but so yeah. far it's been well. Usually their predictions are about twelve hours off, uh, give or take. Yeah. So, but it's still a nice, uh, very no, very and it's warm, warm today. I'm only wearing a sweatshirt when normally I'm wearing a sweatshirt and a coat yeah. or an overshirt. Yeah, my Long so yeah, it's it's really nice. So we're wishing you guys all a, um, I guess you'd call it a happy spring. A happy spring. Happy, happy spring. Well, hopefully God will put spring in your spring step. Mm -hmm. And for those of you too, they're into the gardening thing and the flowers and what have you. Uh, hope your uh, flower gardens and. Uh, Actual gardens flourish yes, and, and produce plenty. Uh, this is a good time. This uh, is a great time to grow your own food. Yep. Yeah. Great oh, time. A absolutely. With things that appear to be on the horizon, uh, those of us, I, I can't to some degree, but those of us that have places to do that and have the green thumb, um, 
we should be doing that. Besides that gardening, there's something about digging in the dirt. Uh, even me, I'm not a gardener, but there's something but about good digging in the dirt. Feels good. It's peaceful. Yeah. It's uh, good for you. Yeah. So. Yeah. <clears throat> no doubt about it. Yeah, and you know, and 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 growing our own food and doing that kind of stuff is it's pretty sticking true to the Bible. You know. Um, well, yes, because it's being self, self, self-sustaining, sustaining, yeah. putting him first. He supplies the, the seeds and all of that so that we can be self-sustaining. Right. Uh, that's the second type of food. There's the food that uh, he provides, which is his word, the food. Yeah. yeah. And I can't live by bread alone. No. And, um, forgive me, too. I am. You see me cocking my head over here. Um, I Take your pop down. I'm watching. I'm every time we sit here, where we're at, uh, there's a family of crows. Gary's got to feed the crows. Yeah, and you've heard us talk about these crows uh, off and on, uh, but today again, I went out. They like these unsalted peanuts, and uh, they, they love put, them. Put the peanuts over there, and there's two of the younger of the family are uh, just. Eating them up and they're taking going, them back. They're wolfing. Yeah, and they're taking them back, um, back to the others. Maybe the youngins. Yeah, but uh, I get side, I get sidetracked there. I'm I'm a fanatic about the, <laughs> the crows. Crow food. Crow always got to feed the crows. Always got to feed the crows. And there's nothing wrong with that. They're God's creatures. Yeah. Yeah. So. yeah. But uh, yeah. Um, but being self-sufficient, I think, in this day and age, is, it's always been important. Uh, but with the events that are going on, there will the become world. more food shortages. And oh. you've seen bare shelves now. It's going to get a lot worse. Yeah. It, hopefully it won't be too awfully soon, but it's definitely, uh, you know, when we lose a certain amount of fertilizers, uh, it will hurt um, the Europe more than it will hurt us. Right. Uh, at least in the beginning, well, but you, when the food shortages get there, the wheat prices, the, the and Ukraine the puts out a lot of a wheat, lot of wheat, a lot right. of wheat. Well, and you look at the neon. The biggest manufacturer of neon is Ukraine, mm-hmm. and you read, as soon as they got invaded, neon went up four hundred percent the next day. So things are going to start getting yeah. more expensive. They're going to start getting hard to find. Um, but you know the the wars, the rumors of wars, um, the famines, the plagues. We all knew this was coming. If you have read the Bible, you know it's coming. Um, we should all be prepared, and the scriptures tell us that we need to be prepared, and that we need to not fear or get anxiety or anything like that, mm-hmm. because know that He's in charge, <clears throat> and this is all according to His plan. And then the other interesting thing too, um, this being a, a, a huge diversion because there's a there's a war raging in uh, Yemen that nobody ever yes people go Yemen where where's Yemen down what, there what next to that? Somalia yeah is that something that <laughs> you put on your on your tacos of Yemen yeah, it's off of the Ivory Coast yeah. in Africa and Somalia all those countries down in there are ruled by tyrants and warlords one yeah. side is always coming in <clears throat> and attacking the, the end, other yeah. side trying to wipe well, it's, like it, the, it's a, very similar to what happened in Rwanda mm-hmm. with the, the the Tutus and the whatever. Utes. The, the Utes. Yeah. 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 It's so. very similar. You have one sect of people that they don't get along with the other sect. And so what do they do? Instead of compromising, they fight. Yeah. Well, it's <clears> like <throat> the Muslim countries have been doing that for centuries. Oh, yeah. You know, the, the Shiites, and forgive me, I and don't the Sunnis. know all, and the Sunnis. Yeah, the and Shiites and the other, Sunnis are mortal enemies. Yeah, and then there's some other offspring. Yeah, the Wasabi, which uh, is Saudi Arabia and the UAE are, are Wasabi, and then uh, are Wasabi, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, and then, of course, the Middle East is all uh, Sunni and Shiite. There's three main sects, and none of them get along with the other one. <laughs> and until uh, Christ actually comes back, and rules physically uh, during the thousand year millennium. This is gonna, they're gonna, it's gonna they're, get not worse. gonna they're not gonna make peace with the, no. each other it's because that's not worse. part of the plan. Yeah, it <clears throat> looks like 
uh, well, in, in time there will be some kind of a nuclear uh, exchange. Well, and I think that, the, uh, I, I believe, my humble belief is that this whole thing with Ukraine, there will be a nuclear exchange yeah. eventually. Well, because yeah. a lot of people Putin's, have that opinion. Yeah, Putin's I, I threshold don't know. is really low right now to push in that button, and he said that. And his his uh, his lower cabinet members have all said the same thing. So it's on the forefront think, of their mind. Right. Oh yeah, but I don't think Putin's ready to push the button and wipe himself, his whole country, and well, and, to be honest uh, with you too, though, of Europe Putin is map. not. Um, you've had several, even United States senators, say that Putin He's is not crazy. acting rationally. I don't think the guy is, I don't think he's a nutcase. I think he's, no. uh, he's but like I think Satan. something, has, there's something going on behind he, the scenes he, that yeah. we don't see. Yeah, because he has it totally planned out. What if, what if, what right. if. Uh, well, and Putin's a really smart man. He well, didn't get to be some of the head of a KGB by being stupid. He's a very smart and oh, shrewd man, yeah. and he, he's got an ulterior motive behind what he's doing. Um, we just haven't figured it out yet. Uh, do I care? No. I'm not on either side. Um, I'm not on Ukraine's side because Ukraine is a highly corrupt country. It always has been. Um, and Putin, I'm not on Russia's side because, well, Putin's a bully. Yeah. And so... But then I mean, we look at our own country and we've been, bully, we've been bullies for a long time, not just... However, you view well, the, the our government's there. been a bully. Yeah, yeah the people. I mean, I'm talking about the government. Yeah, our government's been bullies for a very long time. We yeah. just do it under the name of peace. Clowns. But when somebody else does it, then they're war criminals. Yeah. Well, yeah. you know what blows my mind is they're so. Um, our current government is so hip on fixing Ukraine's border and securing their border, but, but not, not our, ours. Where's the logic in that? There's no logic. No, in that. there isn't. That's get why, it. It, uh, again, it depends on your viewpoint. Uh, that's why there's a lot of people who believe that America, as a country, as we know it now, uh, sometime in the future will fall. Uh, yeah. You know, and that could be, goodness, you know, and we hope not. Uh, I probably won't live to see that. Could. We hope uh, not. But I, I hope I don't live to see yeah, it. But I hopefully, well, I don't wish death on any of them. Any of my younger, no. younger, uh, all of you guys that are way younger than I am, because you're going to have mean, to for deal with, yeah, Keith, going to have to deal with this craziness uh, for some for some time. Yeah. Um, so, but it's it's this is again, it's the time to uh, pay attention to what's going on. Don't don't get overexcited. You're going to take sides. I suggest that you take the people of both countries. Uh, Pray for them both. Pray for the people. Because the people people are innocent. They're getting caught in the middle of something that they don't understand. They don't want to understand. They don't want to deal with. They just want to live. You know? Yeah. Get up. Go do their job. Go home. Raise their kids. Well, you know, it's when it Mm -hmm. comes down to, like, politics. Take politics, for instance. Politics boils down to two different groups of people. One group of people just wants to be left alone and live their life how Mm -hmm. they see fit. Mm -hmm. The other group doesn't want to leave them alone. That's right. And that's pretty much what it boils down to. And that's why you have so much adversity and so much polarization. That's because, you know, it's as as the the as the rise of the want to control, well the the want to be free rises too and it becomes very tense. Oh yeah, it does. And again, over over a path over the past, you can look at history, uh, then the wars start, then there's a winner. There's a loser. Mm-hmm. I lied to you. Don't believe that. There's never a winner in war. No, uh, nobody wins. Everybody in war. loses. Uh, uh, no matter what your viewpoints are, uh, everybody everybody loses. As long as there's death, it's loss. Yeah. Period. Um, yeah. So, but anyways, on to on to better things. On to bigger and better things. Um, That's just you know, the... throughout this whole thing, the only advice we would have for you is just keep your eyes on the word. Yeah. Keep your eyes on the Word. Delve into the Bible, because the more <clears throat> the more you read, the more you'll understand, and the more you understand, the less anxiety and fear you'll have, yeah. because you you'll know yeah. what's coming. And if you don't, oh excuse me, if you don't understand all of it, don't worry about that either. Because well, God will give uh, you the wisdom to understand it. Ask. Yeah, uh, absolutely. But I'm one of those. I ask all the time, and I still don't understand. <laughs> um, yeah. 
and then I get some of that understanding that I haven't had, and then I go, oops, Perry, did you really have to ask for that? Right. Sometimes it's better to <laughs> be blissfully ignorant. Yeah, Sometimes. Says, I'm not taking that away well, from and, you. And I, even in the Bible, it says that knowledge can be a curse. Hmm. Yeah. You know, it works both. Works it, both. It's a double-edged sword. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, you take like Solomon, for instance, when when he said, "What about the two women and the baby? We'll cut the baby in half. Give that." You know, he had to deal with stuff like that all day long, every day. Yeah. He was one of the wisest men on the planet at, during that time. People were leaders were coming from clear across the world to talk to him. Yeah. <clears throat> Be that smart. Wow. That'd be terrible. It would. Oh, it would. It would. It would. It's a curse. Yeah. I'd rather be blissfully ignorant, wake up every day yeah. with the wool over my eyes like a sheep, <laughs> and just yeah, go yeah. through life. But no. But again, God with wants. our yeah, with our tense times, though, uh, we all have family somewhere that we can reach out to. This yeah. day and age, we can do that either by phone, by text. Uh, internet via the internet Facebook there's all kinds of those well Facebook's uh, not gonna be around much longer they're they're seeing some serious stock saying. problems and yeah it's the meta when they went to meta they lost a lot but anyway the point there is reach out and tell regularly not once a year not at a wedding not at a funeral reach out and tell the kids tell your you, family love them. you love them, the, the grandkids you love them, the great grandkids, as far and down as you can can do that. Yes, and and mean it. It's not just an exercise to no. say, "Oh, look at me, I'm being nice to the right. bratty kids." No, no. Yeah, you, mean you love them. Let them know yeah. because because you look at when they're gone, they're gone. Yeah, Here. you know the my my interpretation of love is that when somebody is ripped out of your life, that hole that you feel, that longing, that missing, that wanting, that's love. Is it, and, and it can be a good thing and a bad thing. Oh yeah, love Love is a double-edged sword. It too. is, it is. Um, that, that goes back to the cross. Christ went through, quote, the death because of love. Yeah. And then he rose again. He died so that we can die with him, yeah. so that we can rise yeah. with him. But I but point for me is the immediate family needs to know uh, how we feel uh, about them uh, even if it's hard to love them uh, have circumstances like that a lot of you guys have the same kind of circumstances but you just you just keep doing it uh, and one day you'll get you there's rewards for doing that yeah, yeah um, well, absolutely you know, there's, absolutely there's, uh, you will be rewarded yeah. um, because one day they'll click. It'll click and they'll come to you and say, you know, I'm sorry. Yep. Uh, I love you. You know, it, it will happen. Whether yeah. you, whether you want it to or not. Yeah. If you, as long as you keep loving on them, it'll happen. Yeah. And I always pray for them and ask uh, the Lord to show them grace and mercy. and uh, uh, But a little discipline, too. Sometimes we, they need that. I a little discipline goes a long way. To wake up and, and see that. Uh, I'm not doing something that I ought to. Maybe it's just in a little way. You don't have to be harsh, uh, you know, with correction right. and screaming, you know, all the things. That you're no good, and I don't yeah. love you, and, 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 you, and don't ever call me again. And then when daughter calls, uh, you feel guilty as all oh, get out because you didn't really mean it. It was said then. Or if you can say, or if you say that, and then something happens where they're taken from you, and the last thing that you said to them wasn't nice was it nice don't get stuck in that yeah. don't it is the you're worst the one feeling. That that'll hurt the worst, yes the, person it, the only one that's going to you're hurting is oh, yourself yeah yeah, so. yeah. one well, christ's most important commandment is love one another like you would yourself yeah and and <clears throat> that i mean that's is it hard yeah absolutely it's hard um because nobody nobody wants to criticize himself Nobody wants to call themselves names. <clears throat> so don't do it to other people. Yeah. I'm guilty of it too. Oh, well. You know, somebody will cut me off. I'm like, oh, 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 oh clown. Oh, 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 you know, and uh, is it right? No. <laughs> what did the, but I mean, what did they do? Did what they did, was that right? No. But your reaction, was it right? No. No. 
in, in those situations, we have no idea uh, this guy or gal, uh, maybe it was a, by accident, it was an emergency, they were trying to get to the hospital, or they were trying to get to somewhere to help someone that was right. in uh, maybe they had a bad need, day. or maybe they were just having a bad day. Not right. that I've ever had one of those, except maybe a couple of days ago. Yeah. <laughs> right. Well, yeah. we're getting pretty up, uh, far up there, so we should probably uh, wrap this up, because my uh, phone's starting to act funky. Uh-oh. So. Is that why I went kind of... Ch -ch 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 yeah, we're getting really jumpy, jumpy, really choppy, so... so. Anyway, All right. guys... We'll see. What? Go ahead. Oh, oh, I was going to say, want to end us in prayer? Sure. sure. And before we do it, we love you always. Yeah. And uh, we'll try our best not to be quite so far in between or quite the right. distance in between. So forgive us for that. Uh, we'll do our best. So anyway, yeah. I love you. And Lord, we thank you so much for your grace and your love and your mercy today and the gifts that you bestowed us. Thank you for allowing us to open our eyes. Lord, we commit our hearts and our lives to you. Yep. We give everything to you, Lord. We give you all the grace, all the power, all the might, all the, the glory is yours, Lord. We submit to you fully. And Lord, I ask that for those watching that they receive your word, they receive your love, your grace, and your mercy, Absolutely. just like everybody else, Lord. And this in Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Amen. And as always, we'll see, we'll see you in, in church. church.